Okay. Um, this is Dr. Nurse in my office um, giving you some stereochemistry to go along with the book I wrote on stereochemistry, which is up on the web. And this is Stereochemistry 9, in case you're wondering. Um, what I'm going to do in Stereochemistry 9 is do a couple of harder problems re involving um, the assignment of absolute configuration to asymmetric carbons. And I have two hard molecules up on the board. Now, there are simpler examples in the book, but these are going to illustrate how you deal with harder situations. So up here, I've written some of the basics of kahn ingold prelog uh, nomenclature regarding absolute configuration. If I were going to sum it up and say it very briefly, what you have to do is assign the four different groups priority numbers and you give uh, you, you assign one the highest priority and then you work your way down to the lowest priority so you assign priorities to all four groups around the center um, and the priority um, is based on the first point of difference in the group and that's what we're going to illustrate here priority is based on the number the atomic number and the higher the atomic number, the higher priority, but it's at the first point of difference, and that's what students usually have trouble with. The other thing we're going to illustrate here is how you deal with multiple bonds when you're doing priorities. So, for example, if you had a carbonyl, which is a C double bond O, a carbonyl, I'm going to, re I'm going to rewrite this because it's kind of funky here, but if you have a carbonyl, the way you deal with it in terms of prioritizing is as follows. You pretend as though the carbon is bonded to two oxygens. And then if you have to go out to the oxygen to determine priority, you pretend as though this oxygen is bonded to a carbon. I call these dummy atoms, okay? They don't really exist, but that's how you deal with it. So a carbon double bonded to oxygen is the same as a carbon bonded to two oxygens. And this, this this oxygen is as though it's bonded to two carbons. You usually don't have to go that far. Now, if you had a C triple bond N, okay, this would be like the carbon is bonded to three nitrogens, and the nitrogen is bonded to three carbons. Again, do those atoms really exist? No. These are rules made up by three men named Kahn, Ingold, and Prelog. They just made it up, and it's totally arbitrary, okay? Um, so I'm going to demonstrate this with these really tough problems. Um, this is an, a molecule that is chiral. How would you know that it's chiral? You would immediately know it's chiral because it has one asymmetric carbon right here. Every molecule that has one asymmetric carbon is chiral, and you don't have to build a model to figure that out. Okay, what does it mean to be chiral? This molecule is non-superimposable on its mirror image. Okay, so suppose I want to assign the absolute configuration. That means the R or S configuration. What do I do? I go to the center, which is the asymmetric carbon. Now this is a Fischer projection, and remember, Fischer projections have a very specific meaning. The horizontal bonds are coming out towards you. They're like wedges. The vertical bonds are going back. They're like hashes. Okay, so it's like this, and then like this for the other bonds. This is in the book, but this is a harder example. Okay, so how do I assign priorities? I work my way out level by level looking for the first point of difference. So at the first level, I'm going to use different colors. At the first level, all of these groups are carbons. That means they tie at the first level. What is the first level? The first level is one bond out. Okay. So they're, they're all in a tie. I can't assign a priority. So what do I do? I go to the next level out, okay? So on the next level, on this group, I have an O, a C, and an H. At this level, I have a C, an O, and an H. On the next level, on this one, now this is where we can use the double bond concept. This is as though it is bonded to another carbon. Right? A double bond, a carbon double bonded to another carbon, is the same as a carbon being bonded to two carbons. Same idea as I used here. Okay, so this one's got CCC, 
And then this one, it's the same idea. It's as though it's bonded to a C, a C, and an H. I had a little moment there. I forgot about my H because there is an H here. Okay, C, C, H. So let's look at this. We've got O, H, C, O, H, C. They tie. C, 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 H, C. So which one is number one priority? We don't know yet. But we know that these two are higher priority than these because these have oxygens. Oxygen has a higher atomic number than carbon. So one of these is one and one is two. We have to figure that out. These kind of sort themselves out right now. This one's lowest priority because CCC beats CHC. And it's only because the, the third C beats that H. It has a higher atomic number. So this is definitely number three, and this is definitely number four. Now, how do you deal with this situation? You do not want to just keep going out levels across the board. In other words, you don't want to start checking out every route here to figure this out. What you do, what Kahn, Ingold, and Prelog said, is that you pick the highest priority route. So instead of go looking at everything, I'm only going to look at the oxygen route. And this is something that people get really confused about. So I'm just going to stick to the O's and ignore everything else. And I'm going to see what is attached to that O. So now what I'm doing is I'm going out another level. So at the next level going out, I have a C versus an H. Okay, so which one's higher priority? It doesn't matter what's hooked on the rest of it. This C beats this H. Okay, so this is number one. And this is number two. Now it becomes very simple. You, as, you trace a circle from one to two to three. There's three. Trace a circle. The circle looks counterclockwise, but remember, it all depends on where number four is. Where is number four? Number four is coming out toward you, so you have to reverse the designation. Because the rules say, trace a circle from one to two to three, with 4 going back. And if it's going counterclockwise, it would be X. However, because number 4 is on the wedge coming out, this is really a wedge, you have to reverse the designation. I explained that in the um, prior videos. So this is really R. It looks S, but it's really R. How am I for time? Uh, you're 748. Okay. So let's see if we can do this one pretty quickly. Okay, same kind of problem, a little quicker now. So first level, I've got C, 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 total tie. Okay, next level. Okay, what have we got? I just want a different color. Now remember, three bonds to nitrogen, triple bond to nitrogen is like three bonds to nitrogen. Now when you get good, you don't have to write all this stuff in. This carbon has two H's on it, which are not drawn in, and it has a C. This is like two bonds to oxygen. O, O, H, and this one is C, C, and there's an H, there's an H like right here that's not drawn in. Okay, can we do this one very quickly? Um, what has highest atomic number? First point of difference, they tie. Second point of difference, at the second level, the oxygen has the highest priority. So this one is number one, okay? Um, nitrogen has higher atomic number than carbon. Okay, so this is number two. This has like two carbons and an H, and this has a carbon and two H's. So it's a tie at the carbon, but this carbon beats out one of these two H's. So this is number two, and this is number three. Oh, number four. What did I just do? This is number three, and this is number four. Okay, so we trace the circle. From 1 to 2 to 3, it's, it's counterclockwise. Where is number 4? It's on the vertical. Because it's on the vertical, this is going back. So this, you do not reverse the designation. This is S. This one's S. Okay? So that should help you with your assigning. That kind of goes over all the little problems. Never just look at a group and say because it's bigger, it's higher priority. It's first point of difference. Okay. So that's it.